but we're here to love him. We're here to lift up his name. We're here to jump, shout, run, praise. We're here to go after it. We're here to go get it. We're not here to sit back, but we're here to reach out to God. We're here to go claim our, our blessing or our, our victory. We're not here <laughs> just to sit around to claim our pew to be a bench warmer. No, no, no. Hallelujah. That's a start. Some of you are louder at the football game that you're at church. That's a problem. My God is better than any pig skin. My God is better than any rodeo. My God is better than any football game, soccer game, baseball game. There's nothing better than my God. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I, I, like, I like how we're starting off the service in obedience to, to, to leading off the ability to change the atmosphere of this place. I'm not willing for it to stay the same as it was when we enter. I want to, before we start praying, also thank you for listening, letting me be the pastor. Let me say, listen, we need to get to church a little earlier. And at, at 10 to 1, we had as many as we would have at 10 after 1. At 10 after 1, we'd have as many as we had at 1.30. So I just want to thank the church. Give yourselves a, a hand for coming to the house of God in a timely manner. Hallelujah. While I'm talking, I got one more thing to... To be thankful for. I'm so glad to see my brother Saul and his family in the house of God. I love you. Sister, I love you too. Praise God. If anybody has a problem with it, I gave them the back row. They got all them kids. I said, it's yours. I'll put your name on it if you want to. That's your row. Okay, now that we've done all the pleasantries, let's go ahead and raise our hands before the Lord. Let's raise our hands in the house of God in faith, without wrath, without doubting, according to the word of God. We have the ability as a people right now to make something happen in the spirit world as we stand here in the physical, as we stand here in the natural. If you will close your eyes and tap into the spirit world, God, oh, I feel the Holy Ghost. God is on the other side of a dimension that we can't acquire through our physical, Brother James. Through our physical, we can't acquire it, but through the spiritual, just on the other side of this world, there's a dimension, and God is standing, waiting, looking, desiring for you to reach out and enter into that dimension. He's right next to you. He's right here. He's just in that other dimension. Ooh, that's, that's anointed. That's God. He's in that dimension that exists simultaneously with our physical. Right here, right now, is the Lord. Is that power. Is that spirit. But we have to make a transformation of our physical into that spiritual realm. That spiritual Dimension. Oh, yada bandolo bosa. Wow. Oh, it's already happening. There are some that make that transition immediately when they close their eyes. They are able to thrust themselves into that spirit dimension. Some of us take a little longer. Some people were at a revival last night and are still reeling from the spirit that moved over them. So immediately they rush into that place. The rest of us may take a little longer, but we're going to take that time. But I'm telling you, there are people right now in that dimension, in that dimension. Let us all go there. Let us all go there right now, Jesus. Oh, we want to be close to you. We want to be close to you. I want to be by your side. I want to have my head on your chest. I want to love you today. The sermon is going to be about catching the love bug. There's a lot 
lots of bugs that go around when winter comes, flus, fevers, all kinds of things. You catch a bug, it makes you feel different for a period of time. I want to catch the love bug. Let it be contagious. Let it be a contagion. Let it go airborne right now. I am a Mahashata. dimension there's healing there's power there's anointing there is answers there's wisdom there's direction there's comfort there's love there's power yes yes I need to connect with you right now I need to connect with you right now I need to connect with you right now. Yes. Oh. to go to that place. Allow yourself to go to that place. That secret place of the Almighty, of the Most High. Allow yourself to be under that umbrella of God.
Break out. Break forth. Break through. That's what I came here for. look like. Don't worry about what you sound like. Just allow God to have his way with you right now. Oh, I submit to you, my God. I'm here to get some of you in this place. Hallelujah. We have broken through to that other dimension. If you're not in that dimension, you're missing it. Don't leave here the same way you walked in. That's not what the house of God is for. It's for you to be transformed. where we can plant a seed in prayer. I want you to go ahead and start thanking God right now. Every one of you in the house of God, thank him. Thank him. Thank him. Thank him. Thank him. Oh, what you have done. freezer. Think about it. Think about it. Do you really recognize how blessed you are? I'm so blessed. I'm so blessed. I'm so blessed. Thank you, Lord. I'm so blessed. for some things, but I think we need to set it up. We've set it up, so now it's okay to ask. Ask him. Ask him with a faithful heart, believing. Don't throw it out there and say, God, this is what I need, but I really don't think you can do it. It's already lost. It's already a wasted prayer. When you put that prayer out there, God, I know you can do anything but fail. recipe. You got to have faith. Then you've got to activate your faith. As Brother Crutcher preached on Thursday, you've got to activate that faith with your what? With your what? 
It's a voice activated kingdom. It's a voice activated kingdom. You've got to ask, God, this is what I need. God, this is what I need. Oh, I'm looking at my prayer answered right here. I know God works. I'm looking at 70 people who want God. I ask God, give me a church so I can lead people to God. And here it is. Here you are. You're an answered prayer. You're proof. You're proof. You're proof that God hears the effectual, fervent prayer of a righteous man. And it's going to avail. It's going to avail. Johnson for healing. He's sick, but he's here. We need to pray for Carol Sandoval. She's emotionally and spiritually hurt, but she's here. We need to pray for Brother Artudo. Came to my house hurting, but he's here. God touched him because he reached out. Those that went to the revival yesterday, he went and got it. He went and got it. He didn't sit at home. He went and got it. Now he's here. Pray for him. Pray for Diana's boys, that God keep them safe. Her family, touch them. Bless them. They got a hold of something that's real and it's powerful. Bless them. Bless all her family. Bless Sister Amanda and Tim. They've been with us since they got married. First they married each other, then they married the Lord. We want both of those relationships to be powerful. Bless them. Bless them. Bless Sister Anita. Bless Sister V2. Her sister finally came to church twice. Bless that family. Bless all the children going to school. Bless everyone in this place with whatever they're struggling with. Let God be their answer. Let God touch them, but you got to reach out to him first. He's on the sidelines waiting to be called into play. He's waiting to be called into play. Praise God. Let's pray for our special prayers. I want to reach those right now. We need to pray for Brother and Sister Silversmith, Steve Yoder, Sammy and Robbie Sandoval, Sister Rochelle, still praying for that ear. Todd Fox and family. We need to pray for Bo, better known as Eugene. I call him brother in faith, brother Eugene and his family. Lord God, I just want, I'm going to be selfish for a second, just for a second. I'm going to ask just to take a moment for you to pray for me and my family. Pray for your pastor. Please, if you pray at home, don't forget your pastor. I need your prayer. I'm doing okay. There's nothing going on in my life that's, that's dangerous, but I got a target on my back. And I need prayer. Take a time just right now and pray for me. Pray for me, please. I want to serve the Lord. I want nothing to come between me and my service to God. Pray for your pastor. Let it come from your heart. Let it come from your spirit. Pray for my family. Oh, Jesus, guide us in the direction you would have us go. Give us the energy and the power and the wisdom to do what is right and to do what the church needs. Let us lead the saints of God into the kingdom of heaven. Let us reach the lost in this community that they might have a relationship with God. Pray for me. Pray for me. Hallelujah. Pray for my family. 
Don't ever leave us out because we're not going to leave you out. <laughs> we love every one of you in this house today. And we're never going to leave you or forsake you as God has said. We want to be like God. We want to be and walk like God. In Jesus' name. If there's any unspoken requests out there, God knows what you need. Let it happen in Jesus' name. Let it be the will of God first and let it be answered second. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Sister Kim, it's good to see you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We're going to do some more of this later. The Spirit of God was always here, but we had to enter into a dimension. That we could be there with God. I didn't do it. Well, I thought they were bum rushing me. I'm like, what? Don't, don't hurt a brother. <laughs> Praise God. They know this church. They know what's next. I didn't even got to call them. They're ready. These people just got back from revival all weekend. They're, you see how ready they are? Oh, 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 I got to go. I got to go. I got to go. Ooh. We're going to continue on in the spirit of worship and praise. Pray that my voice make it through the day. I'm not worried. I watched a man sick preaching on Friday night, screaming his guts out for an hour. And his voice lasted right through the night. And he was still shouting last night, wasn't he, sister? I told myself I was going to be quiet Friday night so I could save my voice for church. <laughs> yeah, right. Apostolic revival and pastor is going to stay quiet. Unlikely. And I did not. But the Lord, actually, I had more voice yesterday than I did after Friday night. I have a healing God. If you shout for me, I might heal your voice. Come on. Praise God. Come on. He's real. He's real. We're going to sing. I ask you to remain standing and worship and praise. Submit to the Spirit of God. Don't hold back today.
presence of the Lord in this place. I feel the presence of the Lord. I feel his power. I feel his presence. He's here. He's here. <laughs> I want to sing unto the Lord. Quest here. This song is, is, is going out to Delchemsky Begay. He loves this song. <laughs> so I expect to see him go a little crazy for a while. Praise God. But there's something else. I'm going to jump on the drums for a minute. And then, see, I'm not going to be over here when I do that. So I'm going to need those people that went to revival. I'm going to need those people that are just making a decision right now. They're going to get behind the worship in this church. And, and do what I do up here while I'm over there. Yeah. Being, I'm going to be the yes. one that's going to shout when I feel God. Hallelujah. I'm going to be the one to lift up my voice. I'm going to be the one to run yes. while the pastor is not leading this home. Yes. Do I have anybody? Do I have anybody who will do such a thing? Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Praise God. The name of this song is called Shake the Foundation. And when I was uh, on my way to do some errands today, um, the Lord just spoke to me and he said, remember that story of Paul and Silas? They were in chains, but at midnight, they began to sing and sing praises to God. And the, the foundation was shaken yes. so much yes. that they were loosed. Yes. Tonight, 
if we're willing to shake the foundation with our praise, we can, lo we can lose some of the things that are binding us. Church, we don't go to church.
Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. If we stopped right now, we'd be okay. If we decided to pack it in right now, we'd be blessed. But we just getting started. We just getting started. Praise the Lord. As you make your way back to your seats, you just hold on to that fire that's building inside of you. There is an ignition that's taking place. There's an ignition that's taking place in this house. Yes, hallelujah. I like watching things at night. I'm a pyromaniac for the Lord. Yes. I, I love watching things blow up. Yes. I love watching the fire spread yes. in the house of God. I love it. Yes. Praise God. You can, sit in, you can sit down if you want to, but you don't have to. You can stay standing all day. I don't care. <laughs> Praise God. We're going to do some announcements. Y'all done messed up and got me fired up, old church. I'm a little drunk in the spirit. See, when I get a little drunk, I get a little loose. I get a little liberty. I get a little kink in my step. Oh, look out when the Holy Ghost gets a hold of you. Oh, that anointing comes. Y'all done messed up now. Praise God.